Oh man, I feel like such an idiot saying that because I've never, <laughs> I've never said cucumber before. Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Trials. I'm Neil, I'm a whiskey trialer and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. So anybody that's watched any of my previous reviews knows that I'm kind of got a bit of a relaxed informal style where I'm all over the place. One minute I'm nosing it, one minute I'm tasting it and then I'm back and forth, finish here and you know it's all back to front essentially. So I've been thinking for a while that maybe I should add a little bit of structure to it. So, you know, following, um, uh, you know, doing an intro, doing the nose in, doing the the palate, uh, then doing the finish, uh, then adding some water as well, which I rarely ever do. But I realise it's quite an important um, thing in tasting whiskies because there, there, there can be some other flavours that, that come to light. So with that in mind and with this strange little review that I'm going to be doing here. Well, it's not really a review. It is a blind tasting. So this blind tasting uh, was sent to me uh, by Percy. So Percy Gins, you will know them as. Uh, but they're calling themselves Glenshe Craft Distillers also. Um, so they advertised online to say we're coming out with some whiskies. Does anybody want to try them? I said yes. So all we had to do was pay for some postage and they sent out these three lovely looking samples. Um, and I think, you know, essentially what it looks to me is they've, they've had them in different kind of casks. Um, so they're looking for uh, people like myself to give them a little bit of guidance on on what's what's good and what isn't about them, I suppose. Hopefully they're all good. Um, let me just break into it here. So it says in the, the tasting notes that they supplied to start off with number one. Here is number one. Now this is the, the paler of all the three of them. I'm guessing um, that's because there's no sherry cask influence. For those of you who don't know where Percy Distillery is, it's just north of Blair Gowrie heading up to Glenshee on the Glenshee Road. Um, nice little twisty turny road, some great views and Percy Distillery is just right there. Uh, it does make me wonder if they think that the Percy brand is too involved in gin, like too too niched on gin so people might not take the whiskey seriously or, or something. It wouldn't bother me but you know I, I do quite like the, the whole kind of Glenshee uh, thing going on, Glenshee vibe. Right, without Further ado, with that short introduction, I don't really know um, much else about the uh, Percy Distillery. Uh, never been there. Um, looking forward to going up at some point. Um, I think people might know them. Oops, there's the spoon going in the water. People might know them for their um, slightly light-hearted branding with the the doggy gins. I think they've got a Labrador gin and a Spaniel gin. Um, I do like a gin. In fact, I love a gin, um, but I don't buy a lot of it, uh, and I don't buy um, sort of varying different brands. I, I do like a G and T if I go out to the pub and stuff, but apart from that, I don't. I don't really buy lots of it, so that's why I'm not massively au fait with the uh, with the brand and the gins. Um, so what I'm going to do with these, um, I'm pouring them fresh out of the, the little sample bottle, so I'm not going to let them sit. I'm guessing they've had enough air being in the sample bottles, maybe not being so airtight, plus they've had the air being poured into them as well. So I'm just going to dive straight in to the nose on number one. The nose. <laughs> well, straight away, I'm, I'm not getting um, a, a big alcohol hit. So uh, that's a, that's one thing to, to note about these, like totally blind. Uh, there's no there's no information on these at all. I don't know the ABV, I don't know the casks, I don't know anything. So I'm just you know totally in the dark. It's a very light wood note. It's not not a musty dark or dunnagey um, old wood, but quite a fresh wood. It's a little bit of uh, sugariness, slight slight vanilla, you know, like a, a cane a cane kind of sugar. It's definitely quite light, not too complex on the nose. 
not picking out lots of stuff. I think just from the nose, I'm guessing this one might be quite light on the ABV side. I can get my nose right in there and it's not stinging me too much. It's almost like an oranginess, light biscuit note, like a rusk. But all in all, it kind of smells um, like it's not going to be too complex a, a whiskey. It feels like this one's going to be quite an quite an easy easy kind of drinker. Um, obviously, very light in color, so I'm I'm immediately thinking uh, bourbon. And the it's, it's coming down the glass relatively quick, so um, and that and the smell, I'm thinking lower ABV. But let's let's find out. The palate. Mm. I say let's find out. Like uh, I'm I'm going to be able to know the ABV as soon as I taste it. That's um, that's that's quite nice and a very refreshing and light light way um, I am immediately thinking that that's uh, potentially 40% it's quite light on the mouthfeel if I push it around it's nice it's got quite a nice balance you know it's not um, it doesn't have too much of a, a, a kind of spicy kick I do quite like a spicy one but not all the time and um, I think this has got quite a nice balance you know it's um quite drying but also uh, quite mouth-watering as well it's quite zesty um, not not massively so but there's a there's a kind of orangey lemony citrus note which I kind of feel is like what the the thing that's making my mouth water a little bit but there is some tannins there is a little bit of light wood it is uh, slightly drying, but all in all, I mean, I, I suppose, uh, I think Percy or the Glen Shee uh, Distillers Co, uh, I think it was 2014, 2014 it was, it was founded, so, you know, this whiskey can only be six years old, but I, I don't think the... I don't think they focused on whiskey straight away. It was obviously the gins. So this is um, potentially coming up to the point where it can be uh, sold. So I'm guessing it's just under three years. Okay, so I'm getting... It's kind of increasing a bit of warmth now. I'm getting... I didn't get, you know, some, some of the stronger ABVs. You get that, you get that kind of uh, warming feeling straight away. This one's taken a while to, to kind of kick in. I don't... I'm not sure about this one in terms of uh, where it sits with me. I think it feels quite light. It feels like a 40 percenter. It feels like something that um, it's definitely drinkable and, a, and an easy an easy going dram. Uh, but there's so many easy going drams out there. Um, I think for a, a, a small distillery, perhaps. Easy going isn't necessarily the way you want to go. It's got to be. It's got to be stand out, and this this doesn't really stand out for me. Hmm. You're a bit more. A bit more grassiness there. It's interesting. The. It's not. Um, the mouthfeel isn't necessarily. Really light. I think. I think what's getting me is that if for some reason it really is making my mouth water. So the the sort of mouthfeel feels quite juicy it seems to make it a, a bit um a bit longer you know a bit more oily even though i don't think it's it doesn't look to be um that oily a, a kind of dram but i doubt uh, well i hope it's not uh, chill filtered or anything like that i hope it's got all the good stuff in it so um what i'm going to do now is just uh, well i'll talk about the finish while i pop a little bit of water in it so the finish the finish, it's over. Uh, with that one, I'd say is, it's it's quite short. It's uh, definitely not the the longest finish. Not particularly spicy, um, but but juicy. There's there's something going on there that kept me uh, salivating. 
um, whether that's the, the kind of the slight zestiness that I was uh, picking up or I don't know but yeah in general a fairly short finish but you know light and there's see, these delicate kind of whiskies I think definitely have their place um, but for me this one so far anyway is, is lacking a bit of complexity but again I mean it's it's quite a young whiskey right it's only been in uh, probably less than three years so I think this I think this one needs a bit more time in the cask this is like a, a 10 year one it needs some some more complexity of that cask I think oh there we go so back to the nose after putting some water in it adding water and uh, what is that I, uh, initially I got uh, I got quite a citrus uh, note there yeah a bit bit orangey I think uh, I think I prefer the nose with a little bit of water in it um, that's for sure I don't think I'm going to prefer the taste interesting see this is why I should definitely add uh, more water to things because I'm all about the nose I'm all about the nosing and apparently 75% of your taste is actually the smell uh, it's interesting how sometimes you can smell things and then when you actually taste it you're like nah not getting it um, or it can be completely different sometimes with whiskey. There's some weird things going on. That's why I love it though. Okay, yeah, kind of. There's, there's a bit of a old pulpy vibe going on, like with the kind of orange zestiness, but not really any salty, saline kind of thing going on. But there is something. There's the the kind of oakiness is coming out of it more. And almost like a bit of like dried fruit, but nothing, nothing like stand out. It's kind of like when you open your, um, your baking cupboard and you've got all the dried fruits in there, and you've got like you know those glassy cherries that have been in there for like twenty years. It's that kind of quite dry, dusty, old cupboardy fruit <laughs> thing going on. Yeah, that's that's probably the best way I could describe that. Actually, I think that's almost nailed it with a bit of water in it it smells like um, your baking cupboard um, most people have one um, if you don't uh, go and see your mum uh, or your dad and uh, see if they've got one and stick your stick your neb in it alright the palate with water yeah it's a uh, definitely lost some of the things that I like about whiskey that it gives me um, it certainly makes it it would make it easier to drink I mean for a for a, a beginner an introductory whiskey I mean this could really hit the spot for some people I think you know it's not too challenging not too complex um, it does have some nice flavors in there and you can add some water and it doesn't do it um, uh, too much of a detriment but for me a, a kind of hardened whiskey drinker now it's too 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 weak with a with a bit of water in it. Potentially, pose it's a a forty percent or forty three or or something like that. So, yeah, I would say uh, not bad, but uh, not one that I would reach for. Uh, I, I think certainly there 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 are better uh, what I describe as delicate drams out there and ones that are finished. Uh, just with bourbon as well presuming that's what it is who knows all right uh, so on to number two this is number two again we know nothing we know nothing number two number two number two straight on the nose the nose <laughs> This one is immediately more interesting. I kind of feel... What is that? It's like... Oh. Oh, it's like rhubarb and custard sweeties. Honestly. Rhubarb and custard. Now I've got the uh, rhubarb and custard theme tune in my head. Uh, I think it's the rhubarb and custard theme tune in my head. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... I like it. 
like it. I love I love when I pick out stuff that reminds me of like a, a sweetie or something when I was young, um, and a TV show as well. Um, although I think I was a little bit too young for rhubarb and custard, but I may have seen some reruns. Um, some of my viewers might know it a bit better than me. It's got a a kind of uh, bourbon biscuity ness as well. Oranges, peaches, and apricots. Uh, this is definitely more my cup of tea. There's, oh, there's something else there. Something else. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, it's not burning my nose. I'm getting my nose right in there. It's not burning it. So, just from the nose, I'm thinking it could well be a lower ABV as well. But maybe a step up from the number one. Although maybe not, because I'm not getting any burn at all. And I was actually getting a little bit of burn on, on number one. But I sometimes wonder why that is. It's not necessarily all ABV. There's like a marmalade juiciness to this. This is this is definitely, definitely more interesting. It's piquing my interest, this one. Mm, yeah, I'm getting other sort of sweet notes. Um, <laughs> you can tell that my mouth's watering as well. Yeah, it's get there's there's some kind of light caramels and it's very fruity. This is very very fruity and it's it's almost so fruity that it's like a fruit cocktail. That's it. It's like the it's like the syrupiness that you get. You know, you get the tinned fruit cocktail stuff. It's like the syrupiness in that. That smells really good. But definitely got that back end of uh, a sort of bourbon biscuit bit of woodiness. It's quite fresh as well. Honestly, I cannot, I cannot wait uh, to taste this one. This is really, really piquing my interest. Um, so this one's slightly darker in colour, and it still looks pretty light in terms of. Uh, no, actually, it's taken a while to come down. Right. Meet the palate. Meet the palate. The palate. Mm. Unexpected, unexpectedly woody, and again quite uh, a little bit on the drying side. So I've got the tannins in there. What is that? There's like a. I think it's tobacco, and it's quite dry. It's definitely making me go and kind of sucking my face in through my teeth a little bit. Not spicy. Not spicy at all. No spice. Almost no spice. Less spicy than the than number one. I was expecting more fruit, but I'm getting much more wood. I'm getting much more tobacco. Maybe, maybe a bit of kind of like this whole the whole kind of dusty leather thing. Not, not, not quite. Not like. Uh, like a big sherry bomb kind of dusty leather or tobacco, but it's like fresh. It's like fresh tobacco, and it. Um, I used to be a smoker, so I'm 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 I'm, I'm quite uh, aware about different tobaccos, and if I was to describe this kind of tobacco. I'd say it'd be like the tobacco that you would get in a cigarette, not the kind that you would get in a packet, uh, like free uh, open tobacco. I gotta say, I was hoping for more with this one, taste-wise, because the nose was really getting me interested. And I don't, I don't want to say that the, the tastes kind of let me down. Mm, little tropical note there. Almost a bit of banana. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say that the taste has let me down, but I definitely say this one has got it on the nose, and it's not quite coming through on the uh, the palate yet. Now that I've said uh, banana, <laughs> I'm getting more banana on the nose, which I do normally associate with a, a younger whiskey as well. So. I'd expect to find that. Okay, the finish. The finish. It's over. The finish on this one, surprisingly light, surprisingly short. It does have that tobacco feel to it. Drying, slightly dusty feeling. Um, 
almost leathery but not quite you know not like your kind of sherry bombs that you might be used to not much spice a little bit of oak spice there not um not the big prickly uh, Szechuan that you might find in in some cast strength stuff I'm, I'm gonna go with this as a low ABV as well uh, I'd be surprised if it was uh, above 46 percent I think actually it, it, it might be 43 or 40 as well the nose is the nose is way more interesting I'm digressing back to the nose because well we all know that's what I like but I mean yeah the nose is the nose is so interesting I'm slightly disappointed by the the, the, the taste in this one compared to the the uh, smell okay right let's add a little bit of water the water nosing yeah again it's really interesting with the water there's uh there's lots going on there kind of feel like it's brought out the oranginess more though almost like yeah yeah mangoes as well oranges and mangoes brought out a bit of tropical it's nice very fruity very fruity and and um uh, but like fresh fruits so like number one was like dried fruits uh number two very fresh fruits very interesting but yeah there we go um so the palate with water yeah definitely still getting that upfront uh fresh tobacco and man, i'd be so interested to see what everybody else thinks about these um if anybody uh, that is watching this got the same taste in pack please comment below because uh, man i'd be so interested to hear what everybody else thinks as well it's always interesting doing these blind taste tests because you're totally blind and you're just like well what is this flavor i'm getting and everybody's different of course uh, and so picks up different things maybe my palate's different i mean i've not it, it depends what you've eaten that day if you've just had a cup of tea coffee eaten some chocolate whatever um i've not had much to eat today though so it shouldn't affect me too much but the alcohol might okay so the finish with the water it's not bad it, it it is quite drying but there is something because of all that juicy kind of fruit on the nose it makes me want to take another drink of it I, i'm going to say it's quite a, a short kind of finish as well uh not particularly oily compared to some of the other whiskies that i know but again not a bad dram i think that's that's better than that's better than number one for me that could that could take less time to mature I think number one I think needs more time to cast number two probably could be ready a bit sooner not sure it's quite ready yet so let's move on to number three this is good I love this I love this blind taste testing stuff this is great because I kind of feel like I'm part of the distillery and uh, one of the other things that I have to do is fill out a questionnaire which I've got to get done before Monday before the end of August they're 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 taking the feedback and they're taking it all on board and the people that were passionate enough the people that were interested enough uh, to fill out the questionnaire and everything um, they can actually influence what this distillery does um, how much credence and how much uh, they put they, they take from what you know idiots like us uh, idiots like us not you not you just me idiots like me say um who knows but uh you know i think I, th I think if i had a distillery i'd have a, a distinct idea of where i wanted to go and that direction and i probably wouldn't be swayed too much but um that could be a recipe for disaster you know uh, so it's, re it's really good that these guys are kind of reaching out to whiskey fans and and getting some valuable input and i think we i think people do have valuable input um, de as long as you can like track the 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 data because for instance if you sent these whiskey samples out to uh, 18 to 25 year olds uh, and then to like 25 to 30s and so on and so forth you're going to get a lot of different opinions i think so for instance that number one may well suit the the kind of 18 to uh, 25 group uh, if they haven't experienced many whiskies and the number two a, a little bit later so it's an interesting i don't know how detailed to go in with the data like uh, I, i'm i'm presuming that that they know when i submit 
my findings or what I think about these whiskies that it's me. Of course they're going to know it's me anyway because, well, it's on YouTube. So let's get in to number three. On the nose. The nose. <laughs> okay, that's very different. Okay, immediately I think this has got a little bit more ABV. It's a little bit more tingly on the nose. Um, not so sure it's like... See, I'm rubbish at ABV because uh, you know I can drink uh, sixty odd percent stuff and I'm like yeah 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 uh, uh, like new make seventy odd percent I'm like yeah that tastes good kind of thing you know so that's one of the things I'm not very good at is picking up ABV but from the smell of this it's a little bit more tingly on the nose. What is that though? What is that smell? I think they've done some voodoo here. This is like. I know Percy do gins. Have you put gin in this? Is this a gin? Are you trying to trick me? This is gin. Right? You guys are trying to trick me. This is definitely gin. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like gin. <laughs> but there's definitely gin-like qualities in this. So it'll be interesting to know uh, what these guys are up to. Oh, I still want a distillery. Because it's... it's um. Obviously you can't call things scotch unless you... Uh, follow the SWA's guidelines and all this kind of stuff. Um, but there's there's so much uh, there's so much room to experiment with these kind of things. And you don't need to call it scotch. You can still call it whiskey, right? You can still call it whiskey made in Scotland. Um, but you could do something different with it. It doesn't need to be called scotch to sell. And this smells different. This smells very different. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I... I I got something strange at the very beginning, and now I'm getting like a, a mint. I think it's mint. Not only is it mint, it's a very distinct kind of mint. It's peppermint. It's not, uh, you know, garden mint or any of these other kind of mints that you get. Chocolate mint, spearmint. That is peppermint. I've never had peppermint. This is the first time I've ever had peppermint nose in a whiskey. I've had mint before, an occasional just little poof of mint. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I found some mint. And I think that's, the, uh, I want to say the Edge of Dower 12, maybe the 10, has some mint in it and some other ones. But not, not necessarily like peppermint. Not so vibrant that I'm like, I can nail the, the kind of mint it is. It's more just like a general mintiness. It just, I'm struggling to get past that now. But it's amazing. I love when you get like this amazing smell out of it. Yeah, let's try and get past the mint. <laughs> That's really cool though. There's like a honey note in the background. Honey and yeah, some dried fruits. Oh, there we go. Leather. A definite leather note. Like a leather desk. Yeah, it's like a bureau. There's definitely, with the combination of the wood and the leather, it's like a, an old leather bureau. I've actually got one, well, it's not a bureau, but I've got a, a leather top desk and a, a leather captain's chair right behind the camera. So I, I recognise that, that smell. I do like it. Some could now say that, of course, I am smelling my own desk and my own chair, but no, it's, it definitely isn't. You actually have to push your nose onto the the, t the desk and the chair to smell it. That, that's an interesting nose. That's really cool. I really like it. Um, I think I can, t I can tell why they've said do one, then two, and then three. I've never, ever had it. I mean, it is like those uh, Mint Imperials. The palate. The palate. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> I, do you know what? I take a drink of that. I was, I was like, if this doesn't taste like mint, I'm gonna go rage. I'm gonna say this is the worst whiskey I've ever had. There's mint. I taste mint, but it's actually like mint imperials. Just like I said the nose was, it tastes like mint imperials. It's got that powdery sweetness as well. Wow. Man, I can't get over that. It's not it's not mega minty, but it kind of is. 
it almost reminds me of um, pan drops. This is very um, hard, hard, sweetie kind of tasting. Icing sugar. That was the one I was looking for. It's very icing sugar, but it's very hard, hard candy, hard uh, boiled sweeties. It's incredible. Like, just... But there is something, there's like old desk, there's, um, uh, you know, when you go into your, uh, or if you've ever been into your granddad's office or something and he's got that old bureau with the old books, it's kind of dusty. There's, there's that kind of feel to it as well. That, that's mega. And, uh, okay, so uh, ABV wise on, on the palette, I'm really bad judge on these but it's so sweet um you know when you uh, when you have something that's so sweet it coats like the the top of your mouth and your tongue and goes all the way down and it's just like sweet all the way down <laughs> that is what this is doing and it is uh, i mean if you like a sweet dram i don't normally i don't like i don't have a sweet tooth when i'm eating stuff but Man, I do like a I do like a sweet dram. Uh, I, li I like all sorts of drams, but um, I think people that don't like a, a a sweet dram won't like this. This is very very sweet, and the nose the nose feels a bit more raw. Like I feel like I'm getting more um, of the spirit of the new make in this. Which makes me think the ABV might be a little bit higher. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not blowing me out of the water, but I can see that I can see the legs coming down from the top, the very top of the glass, um, and they're taking their time. So this is much much bigger mouthfeel, much oilier. It's not as dry this one. The other two have been quite dry. This is much more rich um, and fruity. And this uh, by far is my favorite so far. Uh, and I think, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to go like, it's like cask strength. Maybe it's been worn down a little bit. I don't know, but I'm so bad at ABV. Um, I'm just going to top it up a little bit and do the finish. The finish, it's over. The finish on this one is much longer. I'm not going to say it is necessarily a hugely long finish, but I think it. I think it is. I need. I need a bit more time with this. Um, I'm going to say medium to long for the finish on this one because I could see me bumping my gums and uh, you know rubbing my tongue against my teeth with this one for a while because it's so sweet. So many levels of uh, sweetness in here as well it's not it's not one dimensional at all there's something else there <laughs> but the finish is uh, it's very sweet and it, it, it it's everlasting sweetness uh, quite often you find that there's like a sweet note that dives down maybe the spice will take over or the wood this is sweet this has got a sweetness running right the way through it it's not for me anyway it's not like wow that's that's too sweet um i think uh it's the kind of dram that you you know you wouldn't be you wouldn't be drinking this um all night it's not like a necessarily that much of an easy sipper but like a for an after dinner sipper wow this one's gonna this one's gonna hit the mark um like one and two are much more of your kind of easy sippers party sippers you know you're drinking uh, a few of them this one's um, a bit more of a, a, a an obscurity. Let's say it's a it's a bit it's something a bit more different. That uh, you know you're gonna have a few of them, but then you're gonna be like, okay, maybe I should move on to something else. I feel my teeth rotting. <laughs> there is something else there though that I'm not quite getting. It's uh, it's on the nose. It's it's on the taste. Uh, on the palate and it's 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 there in the finish as well maybe some water shall reveal it I'll tell you what though again like this this isn't a spicy 
Um, I'd, I'd love to taste the new make. It doesn't feel like it's a spicy new make at all. I'll tell you what's going on now. Very sherbety. I chucked it about in my mouth and that's normally where I get the uh, the spice. But for this one, sherbet. Nosing with water. Okay, there's that thing that I don't know what it is. It's like, I want to say that it's like an old bag of pan drops that have been in somebody's pocket, maybe been through the washing machine and dried and put away. And then 10 years later, you put your hand in to your old granny's cardigan and there is those amalgamated pan drops. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's pretty much the best I can say about that. That's that is what I'm not getting. Is it's it's linked with so many other things. It's not like a distinct kind of smell. It is like this feeling, which is which is what I love about whiskey. It brings it brings that to the the fore. It gives gives you memories and creates imaginings in your head. But I, I like this one. This is good. This is very good. And obviously this has got um, something different on it. It's got some kind of different cask because we've got the, the different levels of, of colour. This one was a lot darker. Loads of ice and sugar though. I've never I've never smelt so much ice and sugar in a dram before. Which is great. This is what this is what I'm looking for. Um from a, a new distillery. Something distinct. Something that I can be like Never had that before, and that's what this tram's done. And I was really hoping that that would be the case. Oh, I think I just had an almost epiphany of what this weird smell is. And it's so different from what I was just describing, uh, in a way. But it's almost, there's, I think that's why I couldn't quite, quite put my finger on it. It's almost like there is a, a cucumberiness. <laughs> oh man, I feel like such an idiot saying that because I've never, I've never said cucumber before uh, when I've been talking about whiskey. Why would there be cucumber in it? See, this is why I thought it was a gin. There's some weird botanical shit going on. Um, you guys are trying to confuse me with. Oh, you Glen She people. Tricksters. Tricksters. So, that's what I get on the nose. Let's do the palate with water. It's mellowed out the sweetness uh, because, boy, is there a lot of sweetness. Why, Sony? Why did you do it to me? I was nearly finished the video. Okay, so the camera overheated a little bit and I had to leave it for a while um, and then I got distracted doing something else. But I'm back! And where were we? We were at the uh, finish with water. Yeah. I think I was talking about like cucumber, but that's gone now. The finish, it is so, so sweet. Now that I've just been away and come back um, and I've not tasted anything for a while, this is very, very, very icing sugar like the most icing sugar I've ever tasted in a whiskey. And that that carries on throughout the finish. It's very sweet. It's, it, I'm going to say it's long because the sweetness is still there. And, uh, you know, I think I'll be licking my teeth for a while. And I mean, I'd be worried that this would rot my teeth. It's so sweet. Um, but that's the best of the bunch. So I am going to say that my favourite was number three, uh, and then number two, and then number one, and probably says a bit about me as a whiskey drinker, uh, with the casks that I like and, and whatnot. Uh, actually, I don't really know the casks. I mean, that that's a weird one, that, that three. I, I can only assume that you guys have found some crazy sweet uh, sherry cask. It's gone crazy. Uh, number two might have a bit of uh, sherry cask influence. Um, 
Uh, but I think number one is definitely just bourbon. It wasn't quite there yet. I don't know if it just needs more time. Maybe it has to be a 10 year old for that one. Um, but there was definitely something lacking. It was a bit light for me. And obviously if it was 40% ABV, I'd like to see that at least 46 or for that one, uh, maybe even cast strength, something like that. I mean, I'm a, I'm a cast strength kind of guy. If I want to add water, I will. Um, I don't need anybody else to do it for me. But all in all, uh, yeah, pretty impressed, you know. I kind of, I, I thought you were trying to pull the wool over my eyes for a little bit there with uh, number three. Thought that might have been a gin, because there was a lot of strange smells and tastes going on there. But yeah, an interesting one. I'd be very interested to try that um, when it's a little bit older as well, I think. I think... I think out of all of them, I think two is it could, could potentially be ready before the other ones. I think one needs more time and three needs more time uh, to almost, you know, you can you can punt that one out young. Uh, but I, I think that three is is an interesting one. You could you could punt it out young and, and market it in a very kind of sweet, sweet way because, wow, so sweet. Never experienced something so sweet. I mean... I'd be so interested to find out what those casts are. But I think over time, maybe that might mellow out, might introduce um, a bit more kind of woodiness, a bit more depth in other areas. And uh, But yeah, in general, very nice. And very much looking forward to visiting the distillery now. And very much looking forward to future releases and them actually doing and releasing some whiskey. Uh, it's, it's very exciting very exciting indeed so I've been Neil this has been the Whiskey Trials very strange blind tasting review it's a new distillery people and I thought you might want to know so cheers slash